All right, may I have your attention? Everybody take your seats. We have lots to do before we leave for the aquarium. We have a new student joining our class today. Please welcome fresh from Fargo, North Dakota, Dewey Fernandez. Do we take that seat right over there, next to Sloan's? Today is the high point of our life on Planet Earth unit. It is the culmination of everything we've learned over the past two months. Your assignment at the National Aquarium today is to hunt for six treasures. Treasures that so far you have only read about. This hunt will open up your world. You will see the planet's most fantastic creatures. And for the team that completes the treasure hunt the fastest, you win a prize. So aren't you gonna tell us what the prize is? Let's review the rules first. Here's how it's gonna work. Each two-person team gets six envelopes. Envelopes will contain the first clue and hints. Why do you need hints? Because if you don't know what or where a treasure is in the aquarium, you can use your hints. Why wouldn't we just read the hints? You only want to use your hints as a last resort because every hint you use, I'm going to penalize your team an extra five minutes. So if we use two hints, you add 10 minutes to our total time. Exactly, and I'll know if you use the hints because at the end, I'm going to collect all of the unopened envelopes. So even if you don't use a hint, but you lose an envelope, you'll be penalized. So now will you tell us the prize? Oh, do you really want to know what the prize is? Yeah. <laughs> okay, how about this? Your choice of a sleepover with the sharks or the dolphins. How's that? <laughs> and each person can select three teammates to join them at the sleepover at the National Aquarium. Yeah. Let's pick the teams. But Dewey, you just joined our class. So that means we have one extra girl than boy. So at the end, Whoever's left, you'll team up with me. I'll be your partner, okay? Let's pick the teams. Ugh. I'm sorry, if you want, I can be Mr. Hedgeman's partner. I'm sorry, I can be Mr. Hedgeman's partner. <laughs> Sloan, enough. Dewey, that was a very nice offer, but let's see where fate takes us. If I have to be Mr. Hedgeman's partner, I will make you regret the day you moved out of South Dakota. I'm from North Dakota. North Dakota, South Dakota, what's the difference? You know, being Mr. Hedgeman's partner might not be as bad as you think. You'll know all the answers. Maybe so, but spending all day with Mr. Hedgeman isn't exactly what I call fun. Dewey Fernandez with Trevor Davis. Well, that's it. I've picked all the names. So, Sloan, you and I are going to be partners. Hope you put on your thinking cap. Yay.